Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all, to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. It's always a pleasure to be here. This has to be the biggest release of 2024 by far. Little Caesars. I think of bold whenever I think of Little Caesars. That's just me, anyway. They're willing to take unprecedented risks. They did it again. Little Caesars has reintroduced their Slices and Sticks pizza, I believe, for the third year in a row. Now, generally speaking, when it comes down to items and releases and re-releases and all of that, it all depends on the context. It all depends, all right, have there been significant changes to the item? Are there a lot of requests for it? There's a lot of factors that go into whether or not I will re-review an item year after year. But this case is a little different. When they first released the slices and sticks, there were three different varieties that you could get the original, the jalapeno, and the bacon, slices and sticks pizza. And over the last few years, I have reviewed the original, I've reviewed the jalapeno, but that leaves us with the bacon, slices and sticks pizza, and that precisely is what I am trying today. So this is going to be uh, the end of an era, so to speak. I'm going to be trying out the last, at least right now, slices and sticks variety that's uh, available, see how it is. Now... You might be wondering, all right, you mentioned the flavors, but what exactly is the Slices in Sticks pizza from Little Caesars? So as the name implies, it is a combination of both their regular pizza, their hot and ready pizza, I should add, and their Italian cheese sticks. And it's like a half and half. So you have, as you will see in a moment, half the pizza is their regular hot and ready pepperoni pizza. And then the other half, is their Italian cheesy bread. So that's why you get half of it is the slices, the slices of pizza, and then the other half is the sticks, the bread sticks, that really the cheese sticks. And uh, the cheese sticks are essentially, it's got the same pizza base, it's doughy, and it's sprinkled then with a uh, blend of cheeses, but mostly uh, garlic seasoning and various Italian seasonings as well. Uh, but likewise, the pizza is always going to be pepperoni pizza, but as far as the sticks are concerned, the original has just the regular cheese sticks. The jalapeno variety has jalapenos on the cheese sticks. And then the bacon variety has bacon bits sprinkled atop the sticks. So that again, as you will see in a moment, is what this pizza entails. The original pizza is available at the price of $7. If you would like to get the jalapeno or bacon variety, you will have to add one extra dollar. I suppose they consider it premium toppings. So therefore, I paid $8 for this pizza. It's available for a limited time. It was just released. And uh, I should also add that this particular pizza, the bacon variety, has approximately 2,500 calories in the entire pizza itself. Last year, I tried out the jalapeno one, and I thought it was decent. I gave it a 7 out of 10 rating, so we will see how this uh, ends up being. Uh, as you could see, as always, um, the vile mascot right there on the cover has, um, looks like a rock in his hand, and uh, mouth, the gaping maw right there. Little Caesars, official pizza sponsor of Super Bowl, Super Bowl, uh, L-V-I-I-I, -I -I, right there. Let's see this pizza. You know, I always say not to necessarily judge a book by its cover, but you know what? To give credit where credit is due, I will admit I like what I'm seeing so far. The last time I had Little Caesars, 
and it was for a review, I haven't had anything of theirs since then, was uh, in November, and it was when they released that, I guess what was it, the stuffed crazy crust pizza? And the thing was horrible. It looked anemic, and it, it tasted as it looked. It was very undercooked, it was raw, it was disgusting, really. It was like... And that's the sad thing, because I like pizza. I mean, it's one of my favorite foods, you know? So, to then get one of my favorite foods that's just so, I guess, horrible, for lack of a better word, is uh, very disappointing. But this time around, it looks so much better. It looks actually cooked for once, which is, <laughs> which is great. And uh, hopefully, I mean, fingers crossed, of course, it will taste as it looks. But as you can see... Uh, in the cross section, you could see that differentiation, I hope, between the pizza and then the cheese sticks. And of course, what I am going to do is uh, rather quickly try out both the pizza and the cheese sticks and uh, let you know how it is. There's the pizza. Standard hot and ready pizza, pepperoni. You know, there is one thing that I notice right now, though. I will mention that it appears they forgot. It is supposed to come with crazy sauce for dipping. That is explicitly mentioned. You needn't order any anything. Um, it's supposed to come with it to just dip the slices or sticks in said sauce. But that is absent here, so they did not include that. And uh, as photogenic, perhaps, as the pizza may be, uh, it didn't come with the sauce that it's supposed to, and that's a little disappointing, you know? It's supposed to come with something, and it's not there, and uh, something to mention. But nonetheless, getting that out of the way, let's try it out. First, trying out the pizza component, the slices. And little Caesars going in. leaving the eating segment in this time around. So, I am pleased to say that this pizza is so much better compared to what I essentially had to endure the last time I had Little Caesars. I mean, it is so much better it's actually cooked for once, which uh, it's kind of a shame that I'm saying that as a compliment, but, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for it. What I've always noticed with Little Caesars over the years is that there's not any middle ground most of the time. It's either really good or it's really bad, and it, there's no in-between. And it's like the thing that'll keep a lot of folks going back is those times... Uh, where it's so good, and you're thinking, wow, it's more or less inexpensive, and it tastes so good, you know, so I'm going to keep coming back for that chance that it's going to be that good, but then half the time, you know, it's some anemic-looking slop that uh, is, is barely edible, if at all, so it's, you know, the luck of the draw, uh, but in this case, it is, this is how it always should be, in my opinion. I'm very happy with the quality of the pizza. Uh, I've reviewed this many times before, so I'm not going to dwell on it, necessarily. Yeah, it's greasy, it's oily, that's understandable, but it actually has a nice bake to it, a nice consistency, nice little bake to the pepperoni, too, a little spiciness to that pepperoni as well, which is nice. It's oily, it's greasy, but again, 
you also have that nice, robust, very, very rich, flavorful uh, tomato sauce on the pizza as well, which really helps moderate things out. That's one of my favorite things about Little Caesars uh, pizza, is just how rich the sauce is. This is no exception, just the right amount of it, balances everything out per uh, perfectly. Pepperoni's very nice, uh, very good pizza, I will say. Definitely, to be honest, one of the better hot and ready pizzas of theirs that I have uh, had. So, so far, the pizza is definitely maintaining the standards here. This is good. Let's not get carried away, because now it's time to review the steaks, as they say. I don't know if anyone says it that way, but I did, so there you have it. You can see the seasoning, the cheese, and the bacon bits. And I now shall try that out and then give a final assessment. So now, the sticks going in. Very good. Most enjoyable, I'll say it directly. Most enjoyable, indeed. It has the right amount, in my opinion, of all the important components. The thing that I've always liked about their cheesy bread is the fact that, while it's cheesy, I've always enjoyed the fact that they have, in my opinion anyway, the right amount of garlic on it as well. And this is no exception. I'm sure as you could see with the close-up shots of the uh, cheesy bread, it's got the right amount of seasoning. All that seasoning has that sort of garlic, uh, that, you know, garlic salt to it, essentially. But... It's buttery, it's garlicky, it's cheesy at the same time, but likewise, in my opinion, it has the right amount of bake to it as well. Sometimes I've noticed with certain cheese sticks anyway, that they might go a little overboard with the cheese and it'll result in kind of being a little undercooked uh, to a certain extent anyway, but this has the right amount of bake to it, the right amount of cheese, very flavorful, nice buttery garlic flavor to it as well, but then the bacon, there is also a substantial amount of bacon in so much that despite the cheesiness and the garlic on it and all of that, the flavor of the bacon does not get lost by any means. And I could definitely taste that uh, very identifiably in every single bite. Blends together very nicely. The bacon, I think, uh, pairs quite nicely with both the garlic and the cheese and all of that. And uh, it definitely adds to it. Uh, the, the breadsticks and the pizza, likewise, neither of which are overly doughy, I should also emphasize. I think they were cooked both very well this time around, and uh, again, has that structure to it. So it's very nice, it has almost like an airy uh, sort of fluffiness to it, uh, texturally speaking, and uh, really this is ideal, in my opinion. So I'm very happy with it. The two aspects of the pizza, while uh, both quite different, they're quite good at that. And I like that, you know, you could just pay 
$8 for this and you get some good pizza here. And then you also get essentially the side, which uh, so you get some pizza, some nice pepperoni pizza. You could balance it out then with some nice garlicky uh, cheese sticks. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, I will say, of, of the slices and sticks pizzas I've gotten from Little Caesars, I, I'm genuinely impressed with this one. And I wish that the quality of Little Caesars were as high as what I received here all the time. Uh, if it were always like this, uh, I would be a regular customer of, of Little Caesars. Sadly, the consistency is all over the place, but the fact that they still have hits like this, uh, I am very pleased with. So. My only complaint is, of course, the fact that it didn't come with the dipping sauce. But, you know, I will say this. It's so flavorful that I don't feel that it desperately needs that sauce either. So even though it's missing that component, I still find this greatly enjoyable. And um, I still have to factor in, of course, that it's missing something it was supposed to have. I'm sure the dipping sauce would add to it if the... Uh, let's say garlic butteriness of the sticks especially, could be deemed a little overwhelming for some, uh, that crazy sauce would definitely help moderate things a bit. But do I think that's a necessary, essential component? Uh, no, I don't. But no, that's the only criticism I have, the fact that they forgot the sauce and that's it. Uh, otherwise, as I said, I'm very pleased with these. Uh, pizza is of good quality. The sticks are of good quality. It's a good combination. Uh, one of the better items I've received from Little Caesars, out of 10, being that I am impressed with the quality, and uh, I have no complaints, I think Little Caesars did a genuinely good job here, it tastes good, very flavorful, uh, I see no reason not to give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, it's a very good item, and uh, what I received, of course, despite, and I give it that rating despite the fact, again, that it was missing that sauce, uh, but the quality was was so decent to the fact that uh, it still got that rating despite that. I'm very happy with it, and that's all that I have for you. In my opinion, I would advise getting the bacon one, especially if it's of interest to you. Get it while the getting's good, but uh, I'm very impressed with it, and uh, the quality was uh, quite high this time around. And if you get this, may the quality be equally uh, high for you likewise. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Report of the Week.